welcome to uh, this spring's first Youth Voices Live. We have um, students from Oakland, California, and um, Salt Lake City, Utah, and Okemos. Uh, Okemos. Uh, you guys say it correctly for me. Michigan. Um, Don Reed's uh, students, Chris Sloan students, and Joe Paricio students, um, who are students who post and discuss and respond to each other's posts on youthvoices.net. This is Youth Voices Live. I'm Paul Allison, and also here kind of helping to moderate is Karen Fassenpower. And we uh, would like to have you guys introduce yourselves, but we've thought to use something um, each, uh, and invite you back next week, or very soon at least, to have deeper conversations around a particular question. So the question we've decided to use is uh, one that was um, put out by um, Ask Big Questions, um, Asking Big Questions, sorry. And, um, and it is, how do we disagree? So when you introduce yourselves, and we do would, would love for everybody to go around and say your names. There are quite a few people to get their names in here. But we're asking you to think of, in addition to saying who you are and, and so forth a little bit, uh, what grade you're in, you can say something else quickly about yourself if you'd like. But we'd like you to, I'm going to just read the prompt, please think of one person in your life with whom you currently or in the past have seriously disagreed. Okay? A person in your life that you have seriously disagreed with. Right? And so we're going to take a moment, think about that. We're going to ask you to share your names, who you thought of, and maybe a word or two about why you thought of that person. <coughs> right? And this is just a way to get to know each other, to get the theme out in the air, and uh, kind of organize some chaos, which we hope breaks out here. So, <laughs> so who would like to start? Um, I don't know. Chris, do you, uh, oh, I keep saying Chris, but over there, in, let's start in Salt Lake City. Okay. Okay. My name is Sam. I'm a senior. Um, and I would say someone that I disagree with or have in the past is my father. Um, and I picked this person because he's such a, he's a huge part of my life. Like I love him and he's my dad. But there isn't a day that goes by that I don't disagree with a lot of the things he says. Um, but like it's something I have to kind of deal with and get over because he takes care of me. Great. Let's keep this going fast if we can. Hi, uh, I'm Sam. Also, I'm also a senior, and uh, someone I disagree with in my life is a friend of mine named Joe. Uh, he and I are of different religious backgrounds, and so we often have um, discussions about theology and belief. And uh, it's usually pretty common rational discussions, and so it's a good person to disagree with. Cool. Is that is that it from Salt Lake City for now? For now, yeah. yeah. Okay, it's fine. If somebody jumps in, we can. So let's move over to, um, or up to Michigan, if we can. Yeah. All right. I'm Charles. Somebody that I disagree with is my dad, because we two biggest men in the house. So, yeah, we definitely have different ideas of what we should do in the house. And who wants to go next? Who wants to go no, next? Okay. Um, hi, my name is Jen, and I'm a sophomore. And someone I disagree is my sister. I like um, lots of conflict with my sister. My sister, we always fight. So I was like, yeah. And uh, introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Um, my name is Chan Wu. Yeah, I'm freshman in here. Who do you disagree with? Um, my sister, I have younger sister, and we have much fights in very little things. Yeah. Dami, you want to go? Yeah. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. No, no. Yes. Oh. That's, that's okay. it for Michigan for now. That's cool. That's cool. Oakland? Okay. Welcome. <laughs> You're on, guys. 
<laughs> so who's going to go first from Oakland? You've got two rooms going on here, but... Sanjoy, why don't you go first? Oh, oh, oh sorry. It's okay. Um, someone that I disagree with is my father because, like, um, we talk about it how I have to bring my mother here, but they already separated before. And now that um, I think about it, I'm kind of disagree about that because you know there's a conflict between them. I don't want to expand it again. Sanjo, you didn't introduce yourself. Could you oh, say that's fuck. okay? But yeah, my name is Sanjoy, and I'm currently senior student at the yeah. Did you say you were a senior? Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, hi, my name is Palma. I'm a senior also. I'm going to disagree with my sister because we have different ideas, and we don't really get along as much in certain things. So. My name is Jessica. I'm an also a senior, and someone that I disagree with is between my younger siblings. Since I'm the oldest, they always want to do what they're not supposed to. I have to do the orders. <laughs> okay, moving over to the other three from Oakland. Go ahead. Uh, my name is Christian. I'm a senior at Fremont, and uh, one person I disagree with a lot is my brother. We disagree off of everything. Who gets what? You know, work is done, and stuff like that. Oh, um, my name's Loata. I'm also a senior at Fremont High School, and someone that I've disagreed with was my grandma, because sometimes we have, like, different priorities between church and education and stuff like that. So. My name is Mami. Uh, I'm a senior at Fremont. Uh, someone I disagree with a lot is my mom. And she always thinks it's best for me. And sometimes, I'll, I mean, I always disagree with her because I want to do what I want sometimes. But, yeah. All right. You all did a really nice job there. Seriously. But you, but, but oh, here, here's the point of this. The point of this was for you to introduce yourself. Having heard all of that, what comes to mind? Or I, Let's see if we can just break out into a conversation as quickly as possible here between the all of you. What patterns did you hear there? What do you think about disagreement? What's you know just what's on your mind at this point? Don't be shy. Uh, I heard a lot of disagreements with the parents. <coughs> I also noticed that I think it's uh, just a generational thing. You know, we're growing up in a different time, especially with the internet, and that's just going to cause a lot of differences between the ways we think. <laughs> I noticed that, uh, like, uh, dude, Noka said, um, yeah, I heard a lot of people talking about how they disagree with their dads and such. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Almost everybody said somebody in their family, right? Except for one person, um, and I didn't get your name. They're in Utah, but yeah, it's interesting. So, what are you thinking about? What's going on with you all? Somebody's giving us a message. What does that say? I can't see. <laughs> okay, we'll follow that kid. Sixty-nine. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the, that almost was a conversation. Keep going though. What else? What are y'all you thinking about here? Uh, a lot of what was said was like of what you want to do, but like the family member always had like different opinions of what you should do, and a lot of disagreeing that was said was, you know, on what was, like, how Melanie said with his mom. Uh, she wanted what's best for him, but sometimes she doesn't want to do it. Uh, a lot of what everybody said was kind of like that. I really agree with that. I think one of the issues I have with uh, my dad is he's always trying to say what he thinks is best for me, but I always personally think I'm, I'm 
I'm already doing what's best for me, so it's kind of a pain having someone tell me, no, that's not the best thing. You're not me, like, you know, so, and that's just frustrating. They grew up in a different time, so they don't really understand how we think the world works, and so sometimes our idea of living good, but they think that just because they're older, they have all that wisdom. It makes them more right than they are. The third person from Utah there, do you want to introduce yourself? Um, yeah, sure. I'm, my name's Dominic. I've, uh, I've mono recently. Say it again. I don't really stay awake that often. I have mono right now. Okay. And out of this. But, yeah. <laughs> this is called wait time. I'm waiting for you to jump in with your questions. Oh, uh, <laughs> the agreement I have with my parents. Wait, what are we doing? We, we talk about disagreements, right? Yep. All right, a big disagreement I have with my parents is that, uh, because, uh, I'm an athlete, and I, I'm, I'm more, I'm, um, I belong to the LDS church, and, uh, my dad, he, he wants me to, to go far with sports, and my mom, on the other hand, wants me to serve a mission, and that's a big disagreement. I mean, I argue a lot between my, my mom and my dad, because my dad wants me to do this, and my mom wants me to do that, and, uh, at the end of the day, it's just going to go with uh, what I want to do. That's that's what me and my parents argue about. Because um, it's, starting, it's coming to, our graduation is coming up, and it's coming to the end of our high school career. And uh, the next big step for me is uh, undecided. Undis undecided. Say your name again. I'm sorry. My name is Mountie. Um, do you... <laughs> Uh, you're working on a senior project there in, as yeah. well? What's yeah. your senior project? Uh, my senior project is um, talks about how a lot of the um, Polynesian, uh, well, more of the Tongan students that, um, that, uh, that are struggling to graduate from high school because of the kind of like the lack of... Um, the port that they get from their parents, because a lot of the Tongan parents don't know a lot of the uh, graduation requirements for the high school students. So a lot of the Tongan kids they either give up in high school, or they go to a continuation school, and they offer, and yeah, they go to continuation school and finish their high school there. So my senior project is like focused on like uh, why is the the Tongan families not not um, supporting or like why are they not into the school, like um, support their children, their kids, and like help them, you know, graduate from high school and go on with life. Well, I I had a comment about your um, being an athlete and then also training for uh, the, the sport and having to please both parents and also having to please yourself. I think. Um, I mean, what if you tried to incorporate the religion into whatever sport you played? So during the day, you could play your sport for college or out of college. However you do it, and then maybe go home and work with the church group, the LDS church group, or um, work with the priests. I mean, I think you could still do uh, great things in both communities at the same time. And I think that would also please your parents and hopefully please yourself. To build up on that, um, being um, in a religion and being a sports player, me, myself, I play football, but um, I go to church on Saturdays, and that's where most of my games are. So my parents and I argue about how it's important to go to the games, to be a part of the team and such, but my religion co conflicts with that because it's supposed to be a day of rest and worship, but... I go and I play my sport, and there is some stuff that goes along with going to the sport, playing it, and putting in that work, and then, yeah, so it conflicts in my family a lot, so yeah. Uh, 
Other thoughts? I love the way you built on the conversation going so far. The, that was interesting. Anybody else have a building com comment? Oh, Go ahead. yeah. I, I could also relate to that because especially during the summer when I was playing travel ball softball and most of the tournaments were during the weekends and on Sundays. Um, like I'd choose my tournaments over it and so like my family, they kind of disagreed me, with me on that. They're just like, oh, like, it's Sunday. It's to keep the Sabbath day holy. And stuff like that. But that was, like, a disagreement between us. So. I still chose what I wanted at the end of the day. I can definitely relate to that, too. It's not as much of a sport thing, but I have a job, and I work on Saturdays. And that's when my parents go to our religious services. It's caused a bit of friction between us just because, you know, I really like my job and I want to be there, but I'm supposed to be resting and not working. Kind of tough. I, th I mean, um, one thing that I've always done when um, with my mom is uh, when I... Uh, she wanted my brother and I to go to mass with her when we were younger, and my brother and I always wanted to sleep in. And she was like, "You're not sleeping; in. you're gonna get up early and go to mass." And then, so um, instead of doing that, we just came to, uh, came to a solution: just going to mass later in the Sunday at the evening mass, which none of us really knew about. But um, it was a super simple solution. So I think if we work with ways to please our parents and to do what we really want to do, I think that's probably the to make both of us happy, both groups of people happy. <clears throat> so one of the places we'd like to take this, I, I think, I would like to take this, is to think about other places where we agree and disagree. Certainly all of you are on Youth Voices and we respond to each other, we encourage you to respond to each other um, on Youth Voices. Um, but just in general about agreeing, disagreeing with people online, what does that look like? And how do you feel about it? You can ask a question about my question too, but what do you think? <laughs> can you clarify upon your question? Yeah, so, so far we've been talking about disagreements, and that's been really interesting uh, in their family, um, and that's an interesting place to, to start. But um, there are also disagreements out in the world with each other, um, online, you know, and so forth, um, in different places. Uh, so I just wanted you to think about other places where people disagree with each other and how you, how you are in those spaces, too both online and in the world. And maybe what differences you see in different places. Like mm -hmm. people might agree or disagree in youth voices in one way and then you might see something different like on YouTube or on television or in different places. Um, what uh, What was the name of the, the, the kid I was talking to from Oakland who was the athlete? No. What was your name? Uh, Bobby. Bobby? <laughs> Manny. 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 <laughs> Bobby. Yeah. yeah. With an M. Yeah, go ahead. Um, well, I thought it was pretty interesting when you talked about the uh, the Tongan kids who um, whose parents don't really support them um, through school and stuff because um, and you and how you're writing your senior project on that and how you uh, and how it's like a thing of disagreement, I guess you could say. And it was really interesting being that um, in the community I'm in, in Salt Lake, and going to a, a Catholic prep school, it's a private prep school, I really don't see that. So I thought it was pretty interesting that that happens in your community, whereas I'm worrying about completely different things. But, I, I mean, it's de I would see it as definitely an issue in your community, and I could see why you're interested in it. I was, I was just kind of like, it was pretty... Uh, cool to hear about something like that because that's just, it's not, it's not here. Right. 
And I'm going to try one more time. Do you, do you, do you disagree with people outside of your family? <laughs> all the time. Oh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> uh, uh, another place where I disagree with people that, um, that I'm not family with is uh, when I go back home to the islands, uh, they think that people that come from America is like... Um, the Tongan that come from America, who are like Tongan Americans, they think that we're like um, that we're like higher than them, or like we're we want, or like we're acting like we're we're better than them. And like uh, I always disagree with a lot of friends and uh, some of my family members out there that we're we're not better than them because uh, back at back in the states we're struggling too, so it's not like like um, maybe. I'm riding around in a Lamborghini or something, but um, I just tell them that we're all the same for me. Like, I don't disagree with them because they always, like, every time I go out there, I just have, like, a pair of Nike socks and they think that, like, I'm rich or something. But, yeah, I always disagree with them back at home in the islands. And that's uh, cool. something I was disagree with them about. Other people want to jump on this? Go ahead. Um, well, I really disagree to you, Mauni, because, like, back in my country in the Philippines, like, most of my family, um, expect that, um, when my family who visited the Philippines, they expect that all their wage, and expect them giving them some, something that are from in the U.S., like some souvenirs, or some chocolates, and stuff like that. So I guess there's a lot of too much expectation of other people, and I really disagree with because they don't know what we have been through in this country. Hmm. Others? <laughs> well, I would just like to comment. Oh, I would just like to comment on the what they say in their families and stuff. How uh, people. In general, how you have discussions and disagree with other people is basically on your own opinions and how you think of certain things. And like Mountie said, his family thinks he's a bit of that because he lives in a certain state or place. And how uh, Sunjoy says that her family expects her to do something else. That's in a disagreement people have in between them. And people have different ideas, and I guess that's where you have. Um, conflicts and like, disagreements. So, I'm struck. I'm struck by how deep when you t when you think about disagreement, like you're talking about relationships and family and generations and you know culture and class and, and all like really big topics um, I think when when in schools when we think about disagreement we think about okay you know pro and con on should you know should people be allowed to bear gun, you know, bear arms for example have guns uh, you know what do you think about abortion what do you think about this or that um, so I'm just wondering um, I, I, I love that you've kind of um, opened up this conversation with those deeper issues, though. Um, more, so I'm just, yeah. But I'm just wondering if you think that in the other kind of disagreements that we talk about in school, the pro and con kind of debate stuff that we do, if some of these issues are there, too. Is there a connection between the way you've been talking about disagreements so far and those other kinds of debate topics? Sorry, it takes me so long to get to my questions sometimes, but there we go. <laughs> okay, when um, I was in middle school, I was in debate club, so I mm -hmm. we have topic about like we have to protect Amazon like natural thing. So at first, I thought we really have to protect like Amazon nature. So I can understand like the other side that they say it's okay to like just destroy an Amazon like kind of thing like that but at the end I can understand that because like um, when we use the emergent sources we can like develop new medicine so we can um, treatment like people who is like on um, 
like cancel or really difficult it is. So yeah, I think. <laughs> Thank you. So, can can you t what was that like to disagree with your class members on that issue? Class members. The 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 people you were debating. Um, like, what was the talk? What was it like to disagree with your class members? The people you're in your debating. Um, like we're, I know we're talking about like, um. We have to, like, I don't know. Um, like, the one way is like, um, we can we if we use the sources, like we can develop things, like, um, like I don't know. Jin, Jin, is it is it hard to disagree with people your own age? Um, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. It's challenging to disagree with mm -hmm. people your own age sometimes. I want to yeah. add on something that Jim's been talking about. I mean, yeah, it, it sometimes it's hard to talk, uh, well, to disagree with people my own age, because some people, well, other people when you're when you're with them, and you're trying to disagree about to some other people about the same subject, but your friend who's your same age says something that doesn't exactly go with the topic or isn't completely right. Sometimes you just gotta sit there and think, should you say something to, to push the conversation along in the right way, or should you just let it go that way? And so yeah, I have that trouble sometimes. Definitely, definitely. Go ahead. I agree with that. You know, I think it's a lot easier to disagree with my family members, just because sometimes when I'm talking to them, I feel like I can be a lot more open with myself and share what I think, you know, where I'm coming from on an emotional level. When I'm disagreeing with people at my school or in public on these issues, it's, uh, I know that I have to be a lot more fact-based, and it sometimes gets a lot harder to actually have these conversations. Yeah, I guess the fact-based re reflects back to, and I'm sorry to didn't get your names ready. The the young woman from Michigan who talked started you talk, started talking about getting sources for for your argument too, and I guess that's part of what this was about. I'm curious, and maybe we could go around kind of quickly. Like, what kind? What are the topics that you guys do debate about? I mean, I mentioned one just off the top of my head, but what are the what are the things that you really care about? Just that you care to disagree with people about. Yeah. Um, like, um, if, like, can we sell, like, Madison in just, like, really, um, like, just, <laughs> um, just, like, grocery store, can we sell Madison, like, um, if it's, like, peel, so, like, when we use emergency, like, those, these are kind of one of the topics that, like, we are talking about. Like, do you think it is okay to sell just, like, medical pill thing in just grocery store? Like, yeah, small grocery store. Yeah, those are the topics. And I do so, yeah. Okay, I have some. Oh, okay. I mean, definitely it's topics that I definitely strongly disagree with people. Are mostly like uh, politics and such, like talking about you know President Obama and how he's working his hardest to reform the government and make it better, so that uh, we'll actually be better in the future. And other people are just like, no, Obama sucks because of this, this, and this. And they'll present their facts, and then I'll present my facts, and it'll just like sort of both be even in that fact. And then along with politics, there's religion, and people will say. Stuff that proves that God isn't real is this, this, and this. And then I'll, I'll say, well, we have the Bible, and the Bible goes along with this stuff. And they just clash over and over again. So. Uh, <clears throat> debates that we, a debate that we always um, have in class, in our government class, is between, um, is between police brutality and, like, um, we argue, if, if, 
Well, it's like, do you believe that uh, police brutality, uh, the police is doing their job, or are they going against the law? So, like, that's that's what we uh, debate about a lot in our class because, in nowadays, there's a lot of police brutality going on, and um, we most of us don't know the whole stories to to those stories that's going on about police brutality. But as we debate in class, um, and we debate debate against you know students that are our age and like students that we know and students that are friends and all, um, we we disagree and agree with each other, but like it's it's kind of um, hard if you agree and disagree without evidence. So like, yeah, that, that's that's what we debate about in our uh, government class. To add on to the topic about police brutality, I mean, he has a good point. Um, a lot of people get riled up over the fact that yeah. The police just killed the person using an illegal move, but instead of because some the police officer who killed the dude in New York, I think it was in New York, but uh, the one who had the slogan going around saying "I can't breathe," the one who said it like ten times. Mm -hmm. The fact mm -hmm. of the matter is, re the reason why he should Eric Garner. Yeah, go ahead. The reason why the officer should have gone to jail <laughs> is because of the fact that he used an uh, illegal move. He used a chokehold. But since everybody was harping on the fact that it was a racial issue, instead of the fact that the police officer used an illegal move, is pretty much the reason why he got out. And that's what, if more people had been talking about the fact that, first off, he used an illegal move to kill somebody, not just the fact that he killed a black dude, he there would it would have been a lot harder to that friend to actually walk away from the charge. So yeah. Okay. So you can keep talking about stuff that in school, but I'm also curious about outside of school. Do you argue about music? Do you not argue, but discuss? Do you um, like wh what are some of the issues that you talk about? Uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, one of the things that is a uh, really I think uh, debated about over school is gay marriage, um, especially in Utah because we're a pretty conservative state, and uh, a lot of the politicians here are uh, pretty religious, and they don't believe in gay marriage. But uh, there's a lot of also liberals in Utah who are less religious that do believe you should be able to get married. And so I would say that's pretty pretty widely debated in Utah, and actually, I mean, even across the country, um, whether that should be legalized or not. Hey, Paul, my kid yep. has to go to lunch. Is that cool? Sure. Yeah, we can we can wrap up. Um, if let's do that. Uh, yeah, l let me just uh, give a, anybody from Oakland uh, a, sh a last opportunity to say something. I'll take it. Okay. So, um, so during my sophomore year, I believe I'm in a program called Youth in Government, and it includes youth from all over California coming together, and it's like a mock government. And so, I was part of the National Issue Committee one year, and I took a bill and it was concerning immigration reform and most of the people in my committee like bashed my proposal and but I, I still was just like I try to hold together and argue my points and stuff like that and so yeah that was like a huge disagreement so it was just an experiment an experience to share that's a great thing to share thank you anybody else from Oakland have a story or a thought as we close out here I know you guys are going to lunch which is fine uh, I made disagreements like outside of school is just sports like what's is better and stuff like that cool. um, I always say disagreements outside of school that relate to music would be since my family is really religious the type of music I listen to and society the type of music they're expected to hear I would say that's um, a problem I have to go with with my family because the music out there is not the greatest and so people don't get the right message. And that's the like with religion and all this, like what are you listening to? Those things that's like a major um, argument outside of that. Uh, my disagreement uh, would be that would be outside of school is um, who you hang out with 
and uh, who you go around with because, you know, um, as us coming from Oakland, there's a lot of stereotypes. But, um, yeah, that, that's uh, a big disagreement that I disagree. And with some of my friends that I have because there's some, some people that um, – that are not real friends to them, and like I try to help them out, you know, uh, by telling them uh, watch who they hang out with sometimes, because you know something can go wrong, and you know somebody can end up missing or something like that, you know. Yeah. So, okay, as you're breaking up, let me just let me just um, invite you, everybody on this call, to come back next week exactly at the same time, All right. um, and talk to your teachers about. Um, what you want to talk about, we are as quickly as possible wanting to turn this over to you. I think it's I, the way the reason we started with this topic is we we want you to kind of think about issues that you want to talk about and discuss, and and hopefully you'll be also writing about those on Youth Voices, and this will be another avenue, another place for you to have these conversations and 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 debate. So think about how you want to do that, but. You know, commit to coming back next week, everybody. Here. Yeah, <coughs> but this was a great introduction. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So thank you. Anybody else have any final thoughts as as you go? Oakland, go to lunch. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Gotta go too. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, so no, let's I'm do so these. Uh, Goodbye. Uh, Goodbye. Uh, Goodbye. 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 Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Yep. We'll do this next week again. Okay. Yep. Great. See ya.